Fishbone or Ishikawa diagrams are one way of capturing root causes in Six Sigma. So after you've done your control chart and narrowed your focus with a Pareto chart, the fishbone diagram is the way we capture the improvement. Now usually we've come to this, this process by some hook or crook, so we've gotten down to some data. And here you can see we have three big bars, folded flaps is the biggest. We could actually have teams work on each one of these bars, so we'd like to insert a fishbone diagram. So if I click on Improvement Tools, Ishikawa Fishbone Diagram, in the QI Macros, then I can right click on Ishikawa and choose Move or Copy, and I'm going to move that to Pareto, and I'm going to move it in here right before my other fishbone diagram. So here you can see we've got our fishbone diagram, and folded flaps was 26.8 percent of the total. So let's say during uh, December uh, 2010 folded flaps accounted for uh, what was that 26.8 26.8 percent of total defects, which was higher than desired and caused customer dissatisfaction, rework, lost profit, anything that you want to put in there. All right, so that's the problem statement that came from our Pareto chart. Now we could make one of these for each one of the other bars. And then we would start asking why. Okay, so why did our process cause uh, folded flap problems? Well, maybe it's a machine setup. There's a process for that. It's not the machine that's the problem. Uh, and, you know, their answer here under machine might be machine setup too. And then we go, well, why is it uh, that way? Well, uh, left uh, prior uh, setup. Well, why are we leaving prior setup? Well, uh, blah, 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 shift change. I don't know what it is. But you can get the idea. And then if you need to duplicate any of these, you just click on them and select them and you can choose copy and of course I didn't quite get everything there so click on that again click on the little square bars and choose copy and then we can just choose paste and it'll stick one in here and we can drag or drop that wherever we want it to be and so you can draw fishbone diagrams very easy using the QI macros and if you go to qimacros.com, you can download a free 30-day trial and try this out for yourself. And that's the next step in solving problems. Control charts, Pareto charts, fish bones. The next one is countermeasures.